Hello, North Sound. My name is Ken Williams. I'm with Troy Bissell, and we're going to talk about the officers of National Honor Society going to Washington, D.C. So, Tori, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you, Keenan? I'm doing great. So, what was the trip all about? So, basically, the officers of National Honor Society, along with Ms. Boyle, our advisor, went down to Washington, D.C. to a lead conference. So, how long did you stay in D.C.? We left Friday after second period, and we arrived back here Sunday at around 1. So why did the um, National Honor Society attend uh, like other clubs in um, North Sound? Well, m the main reason of this was because Ms. Boyle was the advisor who found the Lee Conference. This Lee Conference is normally for National Honor Society and Student Council. Um, and, you know, we reached out to Student Council. Student Council, it's a lot of money for the officers to go, so it was kind of not really within their ability. So it was the National Honor Society officers that decided to go. But it actually works out because I'm also the Student Council president, so I kind of got both uh, clubs going there. Is there like any chance that maybe one day like everybody can National Honor Society can attend or is it only just the officers? Um, that would be a really good goal I think to have one day. However, the whole trip itself is just to go to the conference, $250. We were really fortunate that Mr. Smith actually uh, paid for the van to take us down and also part of the hotel room um, and we fundraised, fundraised a lot too. So it would be a really cool goal to have more than just officers go, but it, it definitely would cost some money and that's uh, Definitely do a lot of fundraising for that. So what did you guys do when you got to D.C.? So when we got there, we actually had some time. So we went down to the Holocaust Museum, which was really cool. We walked around, and um, a lot of them hadn't been there before, so we got to walk around with them, and it was a good experience for uh, some of the officers. And then we went out for dinner, and then we actually went to the opening conference, and there was about 1,200 people there, so it was in the um, Hyatt in the hotel. So everyone was almost everyone was staying in the hotel so we all just went down to the ballroom and we had a motivational speaker talk to us in the opening and there was two students who led the whole entire conference so they kind of opened and would bring people up to speak and they would speak for a little bit um, but by far my favorite I think were the motivational speakers. So was it only by people like around the DC area or was it like everywhere like around the whole country? Oh no yeah it was absolutely people from all around the country. Um, part of our kind of warm-up exercises when we would go into a room, because oftentimes you go by yourself without anyone from your school. You would go around, shake your hand, say, hi, I'm Tori Purcell, I'm from Pennsylvania. Um, and that's pretty broad, so there would be people saying, I'm from Texas, I'm from California. And there's even a uh, group of people from Trinidad. Wow. So did you go to, the, besides the Holocaust Museum, did you go to any other attractions, like the monuments, the Smithsonian Museum? Um, well, uh, most of our time was actually really spent during the workshop. We did have the opportunity to go Sunday, but we were all pretty tired, so we kind of just went back here. But we, we saw a lot of sites when Ms. Boyle got lost in the perfect uh, DC circles they have in the traffic. <laughs> so we, we got to see some things. So this is the first year that um, National Honor Society, they did this? Um, last year was the first year they went, so we definitely, you know, there's still some things they're hacking out and trying to fix and make better than before. It is a three-hour drive down. Um, so, it, but it's a, it's a fun experience. We take the school van down and spoil drives us, so it's okay. pretty fun. So, are you guys planning to have, go back to D.C. do the same thing next year? Um, I'm a senior, so I won't be here, but as far as I know, Ms. Boyle plans to take the officers again next year. It was a really great experience. Uh, we did a lot of workshops, and, you know, I really feel like I took something away from it. And she definitely asked us at the end, you know, do you feel like this was worth it? Because it did cost us some money, and I definitely left with the feeling that I had gained some knowledge. Besides the motivational speaker, what was another, um, also your, one of your favorite parts of the trip? So we had different workshops, and I was really scared to go by myself at first, so I made Melissa come with me. <laughs> But eventually I kind of went off on my own and I went to one called Mindfulness and it was this a really great guy. He was a, had been a teacher for many years and he kind of taught us to think about our own mental health and how to go about life and not let others bring you down and just thinking about how you want to see, <clears throat> excuse me, how you want to perceive everything in your daily life. And I think that really kind of affected me. I really uh, thought about it and kind of changed my mindset, I think. So why do you think it was important for you to go to the workshop and see the motivational speaker and everybody else? Um, it's really important that your leaders know how to lead. If you don't have good leaders, then your club might end up falling apart or there'll be needless kind of problems. So if you can have leaders that know what they're doing and have actually been instructed, because um, oftentimes you know people will say, oh, you were born to lead, this and that, but you know, it's, I think it's really imp important to be instructed how to lead because you know, what better way to be instructed than by leaders themselves. So we had this huge group of people 
who you know are all coming together and it was all people who want to lead and you just got a really great experience of being around other people who also have the same ideals as you so you know some people don't want to be the person standing up and talking and that's okay but you do need a group of people that are willing to do that and in order for your club to function then you need those people to go so I think that it was really valuable. Is there anything you'd like to add? Uh, just that it was a really fantastic trip. I hope they keep doing it. I feel like I really experienced a lot, and uh, I hope that the National Honor, Honor Society officers next year really enjoy the trip. Thank you so much, Tori. Thank you, Keenan. I'm Keenan Williams. I'm with Tori Bussell. and talk about the officers for NHS trip to Washington, D.C. I'm back to our host.